Hey guys, my name is Chandan and welcome to Educate India. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a SQL Server database in Azure Cloud. So we are going to create a SQL database in Azure Cloud. So database is very important for any application. Any application will have its database where you can store the data and data is very powerful. So you can create your database on any server like any on-prem server or nowadays cloud is also providing cloud service provider also providing uh, you some services to create a database so in azure cloud also you have an option to create a sql database so what is sql database it's a relational database where you can store data in a tabular form like in rows column and in form of records and there the multiple table will have some relations using the primary key and foreign keys and uh, there are some other theoretical part also of database so we'll cover that theoretical part in in some other video so in this video i'm going to just show you how quickly you can create a sql database in azure cloud so let's start if you are new to azure cloud so you can uh, start a free trial and you can explore the basic features so i'm also using the free trial subscription and uh, once you enter the portal then you will have this portal menu and uh, here you have option to create a sql database so here you can see we have a SQL database. We'll click here, and once you clicked here, so you, you I have option to create a SQL database. So I'll just click here, and then I need to fill basic details. So it will ask for what is the project details. So first thing is you should always have a subscription. So if you want to create any resource in Azure portal, so then every time you'll need the subscription. So you are going to use a subscription for that and uh, all your billing will be related to that subscription. So I'm going to use a free trial because I'm using free trial subscription. You can select a different if you have any. And then the second thing you should have a resource group. So resource group is a collection of resources that share the same lifecycle permissions and policies. So if you have any, if you already created any resource group, so you can select it from here. Or if you don't have any resource group, so you can create new. So you just need to give a name. So it will automatically create a resource group for you. So I'll select a resource group here. And then once you selected the project details, then second thing is you need to select the database details. You need to fill the database details. So here you need to provide the database server information and what will be the database name. So if you have uh, any information, you can select it from here or I will create a new. So let's create a new server. And then you can give a server admin login. And then password. And we just need to select a location and then we can click OK. So it is going to add the server and here you can give a database name. So let's say EI dash demo DB. Okay. And you have option to select an elastic pool. So do you want to use elastic pool? So it is helpful when we you have the multiple databases. So elastic pool provides a simple and cost effective solution for managing the performance of multiple databases with a fixed budget. So let's say uh, you are using some DTOs in your database and uh, you have multiple database so you are, you can share your DTOs among the multiple database so that will uh, reduce your cost and uh, from the performance perspective also you can manage all your database effectively. So when you, whenever you have multiple databases then you can select an elastic pool if you want to use and uh, right now I'm selecting no and then the next option is compute and storage here you have to select the database plan. So let's click on configure database. It will show different different plan like we can choose a basic plan, standard plan, premium or some advanced plans like general purpose and uh, it will have different different options like you can use provisioned or serverless type and we can select different V course, virtual course and uh, different data. So in database also we have different type like we, we can go with DTUs or we can go with virtual course or we can go with serverless. So there are many options in uh, Azure databases. So right now for now I'll go with simple DTU and with the basic plan. It will give 2GB storage. Okay, so I'll just select apply. 
so I'm just going with basic 2GB storage we have option of backup storage redundancy so if you want to uh, do some backup related settings so you can select it here and uh, you can directly click on review and create and you can directly go to create the database and and apart from that you have a different option also so you have option of networking security so here you can give a different public endpoint or private endpoint and some firewall rules you can define and uh, then if you go to security so you have option of azure defender for sql so you can start a free trial or you can select not now and you have some additional settings related to data like do you want to use any existing data or uh, you want to use data from backup or uh, then you need to select a backup or i'm just going with the sample data so that is going to add some sample data and then we have option of tags we can give different tags if you want and finally we have review and create where it will show what is our plan with the product details so I, i'm going to create a sql database and the cost will be 359 rupees per month okay and this is the, my basic plan subscription is free trial resource group and region database names so all details it will show here and all networking related details it will show here then security related and all any other additional details okay and uh, simply i'll just hit on create You can see initializing deployment deployment is in progress so this will take some time so now it has created server it is trying to create database so in database also we have server and database so within us SQL server we can create the database so now we can see deployment succeeded so we can go to resource and this is our DB EI demo DB okay so we can see the overview so we have the resource group whatever we selected and this is our server name that we have just given a different server name and we don't have any, any elastic pool right now and you have connection strings so here we can click on show database connection strings so it will show the connection string for adio.net or jdbc or odbc or php or go and even it will give you the sample code also so it's very helpful you can, it will give you the sample code and you can directly use it the connections and we have some additional options data management related integration related security related so all options you'll find here monitoring you can do here directly and uh, uh, here you have a query editor so we can go and we can directly log into SQL server okay so it's giving error cannot open server db educate india dev uh, client every IP address is not allowed okay so we need to allow this IP so we'll go to overview and here we have set server firewall and we can see our client IP so we just need to click on add client IP and this is going to add a rule name with start IP and end IP that's it so we'll just save it so we, ha we have just updated the server firewall and let's again go to query editor and now we'll enter the password yeah so we are able to log in and we can see here we have the table so it's a sample table we just selected sample data and uh, we can have views we can have store procedure it will expand so you'll get all the different tables whatever we created so right now we selected the sample data so it has just created a sample tables so we can see like select top thousand rows or select select all the values it is going to display all the data okay and if you'll expand it so you can see what are the different columns present in the, in the table so it has a uh, information id it has database version it has version date modified date and even you can edit the data okay so you can see you have all the details related to database and now you can run the query here and you can simply click on run so it is going to run the query and if we'll go to overview so here we have connection string and uh, later on we can use the database in your SQL Server Management Studio or in your Visual Studio for any program. So we just need to use the connection string. 
so i hope you got the idea how can we create a database in azure cloud so in the upcoming videos uh, i'll try to create one .NET core project and then i'll use the same connection string to connect uh, my .NET core project to this database and then we'll try to fetch the data and we'll update the data in the database so that will give you more clarity on how we can connect uh, to a database from a .NET application so we'll try to explore some more features of azure cloud in upcoming videos till then take care keep learning and thanks for watching